Oh my. What do you have here? Well, I got it at a thrift store. I had a discount from that and got it for only ten dollars. It may have been listed as works new, not used, but it needed a tad bit of work. I needed to re spray, the, spray the record play switch and replace the belt for the rewind and fast forward. That works great now. It's a neat machine. Unfortunately, I'm missing the microphone. But it was only in the styrofoam. It was not in the original cardboard box. The microphone was missing, but it had the power cord and the manuals. It's a General Electric tape recorder. As you can see right here. It's got a handle. It's not retractable. It's on there solidly. By the way, this window is a has no has no thing on it. It's just open like that. Metal speaker grill. It's actually on the other side. It is white. Yeah. There is a snapshot of the um thing there. Model M eight four. It's model M eight four four zero A. I have one sad news to tell you about this. It's the DC bias. And the DC bias S is quite extreme. It's quite noticeable. Um, but this has kind of a meaning. Back in 2004, um, there, there, there was this thing I went to called Project Lab where you could where kids would go and to work on electronics. You could take stuff apart, you could build projects, all kinds of neat electronic stuff. And I had just recently learned about it in 2004 when I was in the sixth grade. It was so cool. But the person who did it was his eyesight wasn't going good and he finally had to stop doing Project Lab when I was in the seventh grade in 2004, you know, later on. It was a sad thing because it was so cool. Project Lab. I wish it was still going on. And I was at or at that time, whenever it was closing, in the time of 2004, I was I was getting the desire to get some old shoebox cassette recorders because I thought they were cool and I wanted to get some. Well, I there was some old there was all kinds of old equipment there, all kinds of old electronic junk, but most of it didn't work. So I was looking, I was tried out a couple of tape recorders there, and both of them didn't work, so I didn't want them. But one of them was this same model, I believe. This same model GE. I didn't get it because it didn't work. But it, oops, I just took a picture. I didn't mean to do that. My finger just went on the button. Okay, um, so whenever I saw this, I was very glad because I was wanting to get this particular model that I had saw at Project Lab that I wish I had got. Anyway, enough talking. Let's let's show operation. By the way, I got the manual to it as well. I'll show you the manual real quick. General Electric. See some things. You get a cassette recorder, a reel, a radio, a TV, a clock, a stereo. Yeah. Well, that's what the original mic would have looked like. It just talks about things on it. Yeah. Yeah, even talks about the tabs on the cassette, the earphone, patch cord, power supply, etc., etc. Here's a thing to get um accessories for it, order form for accessories. What I'm looking for is a Sertron. I had a Sertron tape I was using. Oh, where did that Sertron go? You just kind of see my surroundings. I have to run this camera on the cord. This is actually another, another mini DV camera I just got recently. It's a very weird camera. It's like a stand-up camera. It's, I'll have to make a video about it sometime. Oh well, I can't find the Sertron tape. I'll just use this tape right here. This will be my first YouTube video using this camera. I had to play it from the other cam other mini DV camera I got from V Westlife.
in order to get it on YouTube because this camera has no fire wire. Okay, I'll use this one. This microphone will be the one I'll use. This microphone I've had since 2004, actually 2005 pretty much, since the early start of 2005. It came with a stereo that I got. At first it didn't work, but that's because the cord was bad. But enough chat. Whoa there. Okay. Now I'm making a recording on this General Electric M8. Four four zero A this is recorder. This is DC bias. Just listen to the mm, stop. Rewind used to not work, but now it works great. M eight four four zero A this is that recorder. This is DC bias. Just listen to the letter S. This is DC bias. Now let's talk one way. This is DC bias. It's an electric tape recorder. And I'm just going to give a shout out to a few YouTube people. Let's give a shout out to V Westlife. Let's hope things are going well for him. Give a shout out to The Real Master, Clyde Sites, Fat Spare 2, Vinyl Records Never Die, I'm a Junk Collector. Let's see. Slimtron 5000. Let's see what else we got here. Um, whoever was formerly KO772. Was KO772 returned? Something like that. Um, other shout outs. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All American 5 Radio. Um, there's all kinds of YouTube people out there. Lots of them. But I'm not going to try to think of every one of them right now. That would take a long time. But this is just showing the coding quality of this machine which is DC, you know what, or well, you know what bias, you got the message. Yep, DC bias. Ah, another photo unexpectedly and unintentionally. Yep. I am not getting the best reception at this moment for some weird reason. But that should be adequate. And I can show how it recorded music off the already know what it is. Sorry, Mr. Clinton. There's plenty of DC bias background noise. And I'll show you one annoying thing about this recorder. Each time I stop it, it makes a bunch of tape go forward. Watch. Do you see that? It's rather annoying that it does that. This has been a Buffalo Jerky production.